some really cool support for some really cool decks has been dropped. Let's take a look at it. Alright, yo, good on to boy JP. We're here with a reaction for some new cards that have been revealed for the quarter century duelist pack. Now, we have some Supreme King and Salaman Great cards. I've seen the artworks, they are incredible. And I kind of want to explain a little one thing before we get into it that I find quite crazy. For the past week, I've been like really thinking about the Supreme King deck as well as uh, a couple others, but the Supreme King one's the one that's really taken my interest. And I was just looking at the support and I was thinking, I wonder if we're going to make alternatives for Zark because in the anime, which was released like 10 years ago, the card is all summoning mechanics, right? And I was like, usually they sort of like, they like to implement the anime things into the real cards, but there's no way we're going to do that with one single card. So I wonder if we're going to make separate versions eventually. I was thinking about this morning. So I've been thinking about Supreme Kings this morning. I was watching some videos about it. And I was like, yeah, I wonder if we're going to do that. A few hours later, something was announced. This was announced hours ago and I've seen it within the hour it was released. But I've been at the gym all day, so I haven't really been able to do a video on it. But here we go. So Ki Supreme King Zark Synchro Universe. Now this is really cool. They've done a synchro version of Zark. My only question is, if this were to be someone, say, in an anime universe, what's the monster that's going to show? Zark? Clearwing? Both? I don't know. So it'll be confusing. But that's some um, great artwork. Great stats. Another Supreme King monster. Let's have a look. So level 12 Dark Synchro Pedalm Effect. 4,000 attack and defense. Pedalm Effect. Only uses it once. Card's name per turn. So the fact is you contribute one Supreme King Dragon or Supreme King Gate. Pendulum Monster. Especially someone this card. So basically any in archetype monster. Tribute it. Bring this guy out. That's very powerful. 4,000 attack guy. Pendulum 1 scale. That's really good. And I'm pretty sure regular Zark is a scale 12. Could be wrong, but if no, we have a scale 13 in archetype anyway. Monster effect, one tuner, one or more non-tuner dark pendulum monsters. So dark worms, now uh, you know, basically many things. This card's name becomes Supreme King Zark on the field, so it works with other Zark support cards. That's pretty nice. Also works with that other new fusion. That's also cool. Number two, after damage calculation, where this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and or inflicts battle damage to them, you can special summon up to two Supreme King Dragon monsters from your deck, extra deck, and or graveyard in defense position. So that brings out Light Worm, the Dark Worm, the Xyz Fusion Pendulum, if it's in the Face off extra deck. Synchro, that brings out so many. Imagine if it said any Supreme King, because then you could have brought out the other Zarks. That would have been mad. That's powerful. So it's a vanilla, unless it inflicts battle damage. But it's still a 4,000 body. That special summons two monsters. Situationally, that is incredible. Uh, this card in the monster zone to show a battle all card effect place in the pendulum zone. That's a solid monster. I wonder if this specific effect is um, something to the anime. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure the anime had an effect where it could special summon too. Could be wrong though. But then it makes me wonder what the other ones are going to be. And I wonder if we're going to do a fusion one as well, since the arc was originally a fusion. Probably be interesting. Code of Soul, level 3, Cyverse, Fire. Like a Code Talker sort of style, I like it. I really like this card. I always wondered if we're going to do like a Code Talker sort of Salaman Great, which is quite cool. 500, 500, only use the first, second, or third. Names effect once per turn, number one. You control a Link monster, especially, especially someone that's from your hand, solid. During your main phase, you can activate this effect. If you link someone a Salaman Great Leak Monster, you could use one Salaman Great Leak Monster you control with the same name as the entire material, solid. 
during your opponent's main phase, quick effect, better just copy the graveyard immediately after this card dissolves, leaving someone one level free or higher cybers. That's fantastic. Imagine going into Phoenix and just blowing up their entire board on their own turn. Uh, the only really downside is it's not a Salaman great name. It's not a name, so that sucks, but still a fantastic card for the archetype. Uh, regardless, I really like this. I am actually really liking these support cards, and uh, <laughs> it makes me quite excited for possible more support in this pack, but not just that, but more possible Supreme King extra deck monsters. I really like this. That's bad. <laughs> I'm keen. All right. That's it. I'm going to get on out of here. Check out my socials. I've been posting on my Jaden Ace IRL channel. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I went out. This is sick.